Arnold Schwarzenegger, the Terminator, said something one of these days that is an absurd. Yes, the actor from Conan, the barbarian, said an absurdity that in the end will help us to bring a precious lesson here today. And I would like you to be attentive to this. I will tell you the words that he said when he was asked what happens someone ask him what happens when we die after death what happens and he replied nothing you will be seven feet under the ground and anyone who says anything else is a liar the actor said this and he continued we don't know what happens to the soul. Here he contradicts himself because he first says nothing will happen after we die, only the body goes under the ground and anyone who says anything else is a liar and then he contradicts himself by saying we don't know what happens to the soul and all these spiritual things, which I'm not an expert. Here's a tip, if you're not an expert in something, it's better to not give your opinion. Otherwise, you can sound silly. And then he goes on saying, I know that the body, as we see it now, we will never see it like this again. At this point, he is correct because the word of God says that the saved will receive a glorified body, like the Lord's. So, we won't be like we are today as we see ourselves today. And thank God for this. And those who will live eternity away from God will also have a new body and will suffer in such a way that they will be disfigured in their eternal pain and agony. This was correct what he said. Arnold also said, accepting some make-believe stories. In other words, saying that heaven, salvation, eternity is a make-believe story. This is the sad part. I know people feel comfortable with death, but I don't, because I will miss everything, like sitting here with you, speaking to the reporter. Will this one day end? have fun, go to the gym, work out, ride a bike on the beach, travel and see interesting things worldwide. Is this going to end? And then he said a swearing words that will translate as how come. Well, let's take this absurdity that unfortunately he said and he believes in that and I feel sorry for him if he thinks this way because if the best he experiences, he can experience in life is going to the gym, riding a bike on the beach, traveling the world. If the best he can experience, I feel sorry for him. He says that he will miss this world. I don't know how he will be able to miss if you won't be able to remember anything. You see how people contradict themselves. According to him, he will not remember, everything will be ending. Anyway, but he said that the best one can expect from life is this, is what we see already. But what he said is the exactly opposite what the Word of God says. Look what the Holy Spirit through the Apostle Paul said. He said like this, if in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. There is who waits only for this life, for the things of this life, happiness, and please, no matter how much they may reach, by the way, only a few people have achieved success in their professional and personal life, regardless of 
the great scandal that his marriage was involved. For those who don't know, for years, he related himself with the person who worked in his house, lived with the family, he had a child from this relationship, and his wife didn't know about it. And when everything came to light, he destroyed his family. In this point, he was a failure in his personal life, as is usual in Hollywood and in many people's lives. The extremely successful in their finances, professional life, but in their personal life, they are a failure. But let's speak about enjoying life, experiencing life, as he says, going to the gym, riding the bike on the beach. And only a few like him could do that because of his money, his power with assets, he managed to achieve a lot. But if this is what a person is expecting from life, how miserable this person is. Because I'm going to tell you one thing. What God has prepared for those who are His, those who believe in Him, those who wait on Him, is infinitely greater and beyond our imagination and much better than there is in this world. So much so that God says in Revelation that He will create a new heaven and a new earth. And I am certain that something that is new is way better than the old one, than the former one. I have no doubts about this. Do you? Do you buy a new clothes to be worse than the old one? Do you buy a new mobile phone to be worse than the new one? No. The new one will always be better than the old. God is working in a version, in a super upgraded version. So, a high, top quality than we can see here on earth. That's why I say, I'm sorry, I'm not mocking Schwarzenegger. I'm only using what he said to illustrate, because he is a famous person, because many people heard and believe because it's the opinion of a successful person. But I feel sorry for him, because according to the Word of God, those who in this life only have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. Poor him, so rich but so miserable, as everyone who decides to believe like this, a belief that is unfounded. But it's what happens when a person denies the existence of God in their life, when they deny the Word of God, and then to sustain this denial about their faith they have, for them to be convinced, they have to eliminate the existence of afterlife, of the afterlife. They have to eliminate what is spiritual, even if everything screams inside them that life is not just here. They must try to justify it and thus deny it. They try with all their strength because they deny the existence of God. And if I deny the existence of God, I have to deny the afterlife, because Paul said in the same chapter, I'm reading from 1 Corinthians 15, now 14, and if Christ is not risen, then our preaching is empty, and your faith is also empty. There is our entire faith is based on the resurrection of Christ, on his victory over death, and on the promise that he says, He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. So my hope in regards to the afterlife is something that I cannot describe. No ears have heard, no eyes have seen. We have a few details from the scriptures. But I believe that God, as a loving Father, is preparing something to surprise us, to leave us in awe when we reach there. But of course, only those who believe in Him. Jesus said, He who believes in me, though he may die, 
He shall live. He who believes in him. Unfortunately, Schwarzenegger is denying this faith. And I hope that he may have the opportunity to reconsider this. But you who are listening to me, believe in the Lord Jesus, he promises. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. And he asks, do you believe this? Do you believe this? If you do, then rejoice. Don't be afraid of death. Have a exciting, curious anticipation for what is to come. As Paul said, to live is Christ and to die is gain. If today's video helped you and you know someone that could benefit from it, share it with them and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you may do so now. See you later.